Good morning, Glenn. It's Oliver here from Pacific Toyota. Mate, I'm just giving you the virtual tour of our 2020 Toyota Fortuna Crusade. Now, first off, I'd just like to give you a bit of a run through our showroom here at 77 Mulgrave Road. This is one of two of our yards, the other being located at 235 Mulgrave Road. As you can see here at 77 Mulgrave Road, we have a very large variety of stock, ranging all the way through to our four-wheel drives, uh, through to our SUVs, sedans, coupes, and hatchbacks as well. So, man, we have a very large variety of stock here at Toyota and a vehicle for everybody. So, man, I'd just like to get back to the virtual tour on the Fortuna. Now, this is a detailed run through the vehicle just to show you all the ins and outs of the car and the overall condition. If there's anything that does catch your attention, please don't hesitate to let me know, and I'll do my best to rectify the issue. As you can see, all on the bottom here is all in excellent condition. All the windscreen, as you can see, is all in um, all in really good condition as well. Uh, hardly any stone chips or anything like that on the uh, bonnet that I can see. So now we'll um, we'll just keep running through to the front. As you can see, all on the front here, mate, all in excellent condition. I think there is actually there is a oh, a very very tiny. Um, little stone chip just on the front there but uh other than that mate it's all in um all in really good condition as you can see as we're coming down to the uh to the uh our passenger side of the vehicle now as you can see there's still plenty of tread left on your front passenger side tire as well as you can see was still plenty of k's left on it there is a little bit of gutter rash um just on the rims there uh but other than that all in um all in pretty good condition as you can see now, as you can see you just got your passenger side door all in excellent condition as well. All your windscreens, all in excellent conditions. You got your um, you got your side step just there as well. I think there is just a tiny mark uh, just just there on the passenger side uh, door. And as you can see, all the interior. You got fully fully leather interior, and it's a really lovely uh, red interior as well. You do have the electric seats just here as well, so you can tilt the, uh, the seat back and forward. And obviously. Uh, have your angling there for your um, your seats just there as well and obviously um, back and forward when you need to and you just got your uh, Fortuna uh, floor mats just there as well so you can see all nice and clean underneath the uh, the floor mats all in excellent condition and as you can see the interior of your uh, front passenger side door all in excellent condition you just got your speaker there water bottle holder there electric window winder and your door handle as well and you just got your JBL uh, tweeters just there as well just on the um on the door there so look mate we'll um we'll keep running through just got your back passenger door well as you can see all in excellent condition all really clean i think there is just a couple little uh marks here you can hardly really see it from where i am i'm just sort of being a bit picky i think um and as you can see mate it's all um all in really good condition along the interior here as well all really clean really neat and tidy inside do just have your um little armrest just there as well and do just have your cup holders just there as well just for your uh for your back passengers so little um little feature there uh for your back passengers as you can see you just got your floor mats just there as well obviously uh protecting the floor for your um, back seat passengers you just got your 12 volt power outlet just there as well and your 220 volt uh power outlet just there as well as you can see, all the uh, back of your seats, all in excellent condition. Once again, all the interior of your doors, all in really good condition as well. You just got your uh, speaker there, water bottle holder there, electric window winder, and just your door handle just there as well. And you do just have your uh, back uh, passenger side tire just there as well. As you can see, it's got uh, still got plenty of tread and plenty of uh, kilometers left on it. So we'll just keep running through just to the back of the vehicle. As you can see, all in really good condition along the back. All really clean, really neat and tidy. You do just have a couple little, uh, couple little marks here and there on the um, on the back, uh, but other than that, it's all in um, pretty good condition along the back. There are just a couple little scratches just there, uh, but as you can see, you just got your Crusade uh, badge just there as well. So I'll, um, what I'll do, I'll just pop the uh, pop the boot. As you can see, it is an electric door, so it just pops up. And as you can see, you just got your seats uh, just hanging up on the um, on the side there. But uh, you can just drop that down just if you do need the uh, if you do need the seven seats. Just locks down nicely like that, and then you just lift up your seat there. Same with the other one, straight down like that, and just straight up again. So as you can see, you just got your seven seats, and if you do want to hang them back up, all you have to do is just pull this little uh, lever here. Basically, um, hang that up, and then you obviously uh, hang that up just there again. So, 
just want to give you a bit of a run through how that works and everything so all right so as you can see it's all uh, all pretty clean inside the um inside the back here all your uh back of your um uh seats are all in excellent condition i think there is just a couple little marks just there actually that's just come off of my finger that is i think just another another little clean and it'll all um all be looking pretty pretty schmick as you can see all in excellent condition along the back here as well or your um back of your passenger seats just there as well as you can see as well you do just have your tools and your jack just there as well uh just in case you do have a um have a flat tire so it is tucked away nice and neatly in the uh in the back there so see that just sort of pins back up and as you can see still you got your um uh the spare tire just in the back just there as well it's all in all in really good condition you got all your um all your spare tire your jack your tools and everything like that so mate we'll just keep running through just to the driver's side here as you can see still in excellent condition still plenty of tread left on your um uh, back driver's side tire just there and as you can see you just got your um uh back uh driver's side uh sorry back driver's side door just here as well as you can see all in excellent condition and you just got the interior of your um all your seats and everything like that for your back passengers just got all your floor mats just there as well and obviously the um back of your driver's seat just there and all the interior of your uh, back driver's side door as well so you do just have your speaker there water bottle holder there electric window winder and just your door handle just there as well so mate lastly we'll just run through the uh just run through the driver's side door as you can see all in excellent condition again all really clean really neat and tidy you got your side step just there as well and obviously still plenty of tread left on your front driver's side tire as well just there still have plenty of tread and plenty of k's left on it so mate what i'll do is i'll just jump inside the vehicle and what we'll do is we'll just turn it on mate as you can see as well just got all your um dash just there so as you can see all in uh, all in really good condition along the dash you do just have your jbl speakers just there uh once again on each side and you do obviously have your jbl tweeter just there as well so as you can see mate it's all in um all in excellent condition and as you can see, no warning lights or anything like that on the um, on the dash. Um, sorry, you've just got all your uh, volume controls there, skipping through your stations or songs, and mode basically just skips through all your um, Bluetooth audio and everything. Just got your answering and hanging up phone calls just there as well. And you do, sorry, I'll just straighten out the wheel. And you obviously just have all your um, dash settings just there as well. So you just gotta, you just skip through all of that there. As you can see you got all your audio, all your trip and everything like that. So you obviously all your uh, compass and everything. And you just got all your, um, uh, sorry, lane departure warning, for crash mitigation there. Just got your cruise control just there as well. And obviously all your, um, uh, all your uh, window controls just here as well. Just open up the door. As you can see, you just got your um, power door off. So if you do want to um, turn the power door off, you don't want to have the button or anything like that there. You just want to be um, a manual door. Can just press that off and it will um, turn it off that one there is just the uh, automatic door so you basically can press that and it'll open it up from the um, from the inside just got your dpf burn out there got your um, idle up button just there as well got all your parking sensors so you can engage them and make it a little bit easier when you're parking in uh, uh, shopping centers and stuff like that and as you can see you've got all your um, uh, uh, sorry all your touch screen display just here as well just turn the um, air conditioning down I uh, just got all your satellite navigation just there as well, so you can just pop into that and uh, have a bit of a have a bit of a look around. Just got all your audio, basically connect up all your phone and everything. Got all your um, uh, air conditioning controls just here as well, so you obviously have all your fan speed, fan temperature, and all your um, fan positionings just there as well. And just down below, we've just got the um, high two, high four, and low four, which is all of your uh, four wheel drive settings. Now you do have your uh, left and right heated seats as well, or your downhill assist control. You do have your um, auxiliary and USB ports just there as well. And obviously your um, 12 volt power outlet just there as well. Obviously you got all your cup holders just there as well. And you just got a little a little pad inside there just to, um, just to chuck your phone. 
And you just got all your um, gear shifting there, eco and power mode there. Just got your traction control and your rear diff lock as well. And as you can see, a lovely, um, lovely big deep uh, center console as well. So mate, what I'll do is I'll just pop out the service history on the vehicle and we will, um, obviously it's a 2020 model, so it's probably not gonna have too much on it. Uh, but mate, you've just got your, um, just got your first service there on the 12th of 2000, uh, sorry, the um, 12 month service there on the uh, 19th of the, th of the 3rd, 2021 at 18,422. And your next service done there on the 18th, um, at 18 months um, at 30,000 kilometers, uh, done on the 7th of the 10th, 2021 at 30,352. So as you can see, the um, got 34,957 on the clock. And obviously your um, next service isn't due until 40,000 kilometers. So still a fair while until your next service. Now what I'll do is I'll just, um, I'll just pop the bonnet on the vehicle and we'll um, just run through the engine bay. get it open <laughs> all right mate as you can see all really clean really neat and tidy underneath the um underneath the bonnet here there's um no unusual ticks or noises coming from the engine which is um which is always really good to hear so mate as you can see you do have the uh space for a dual battery as well if you um if you do need so if you do if you do need to sorry uh so mate you've got that capability if you uh, if you do need it Alrighty, Glenn, that is your virtual tour of your 2020 Toyota Fortuna Crusade. Thanks very much, mate.